This is Eugene Penrickovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 14 Chromebook laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Pavilion 14 Chromebook computer. Before we do anything with this or most other laptops, we need to remove all sources of power. That means removing the battery. In this case, the battery is removable. So the way to do it is we flip over the laptop, slide the, slide the right lever to the unlock position. Right now it's locked, now it's unlocked. And slide the left lever inward and move the battery out, slide the battery out. While we're on the bottom, I'm going to show you how to find the model number for this laptop computer. It says model 14. Now there's two model 14s. One's the Chromebook version and one's the Windows version. Both use the same screen and both look almost identical. So both have the same procedure. Okay, we flip the laptop over and take a look at the screen assembly. In order to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws hiding behind screw covers on the bottom. And let me show you the tools that we're gonna use for this. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. We have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to, to lift up any adhesive tape. And we have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate screws or manipulate cables and to remove screws that may be stuck. So let's start with the first step. We need to remove the plastic screw covers on the bottom. In order to do that, we take the X-Acto knife or the hobby knife and lift up the screw cover and put it right next to the opening so we don't lose it. And we do the same for the second side like so. And put it next to the screw opening. Next we take our screwdriver and remove the two screws. So this one needed a little bit more pressure, but we did it and we removed the screws one by one. What I like to do for each step in the procedure For each step in the procedure, what I like to do is put each screw, set of screws in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And this way I can keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. Once we remove the screws, we snap the plastic screen bezel off this front. So in order to do that, we reach with our fingertips and get a hold somewhere and gently lift up the screen bezel from the screen side with our fingertips and gently lift up and out, like so. And like this, we work our way around the screen. If we get stuck at a part, we just keep going. Like so. Keep working with our fingernails. If it's too hard with the fingernails, you can reach in with the exacto knife and just gently lift up the screen bezel. So we can keep going. This is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, so take your time on this. And do the same thing on the bottom. Like so. And almost done. And then at the very end, we tilt the bezel forward. That releases the hinge cover, the plastic hinge covers. And then we remove the screen. Okay, we put the screen bezel to the side and look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's called a slim screen. It's mounted on metal tabs on the top and the bottom of the screen. So there's two screws at the top we need to remove and two screws at the bottom. When we do this, we have the screen tilted slightly backwards and that's so that the screen doesn't fall forward on you when you remove all four screws. 
and start removing the screws one by one and once again start a separate pile for these screws. Two. Three. And four. Once we remove the fourth screw, what we can do is start gently tilting the screen forward from the screen assembly and make sure it's not getting caught on anything and puts the screen down like so. For this type of screen there's only one connector at the bottom here and we have to disengage the connector to remove the screen from the rest of the screen assembly. So there's some adhesive tape on top so we take our X-Acto knife lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and gently start pulling the adhesive tape back. And what's happening here is that the adhesive tape is over the label. So what we're gonna do is there's the label here. We're gonna take our adhesive take our exacto knife and make a cut where the sticker is so we can remove the adhesive tape without having to remove the whole sticker like so. So what I did is make a cut right here so that the label can come off like so. And keep going with the adhesive tape. And when we get to the connector, gotta make gotta be very careful not to damage the connector when we remove the adhesive tape. We lift up the adhesive tape and then grabbing the connector from the back we gently pull it out like so. Before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. When you slide it in you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means the connector is engaged. And let's get a close up. Okay, pause the video right here. Make sure there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a good connection. Okay, once again, we pull the connector out and take a look at the screen. This, this is called a 14 inch LED slim screen. This is fairly commonly available. Let's take a look at the part number. Since we removed a part of the label, I'll just read it off. It's N140BGE-L42. N140BGE-L42. This is what you do your search in on. Now when you do get your screen in, most likely this will not be the same part number, but the screen will look identical and the connection connection will be in the same place. There's six or seven manufacturers that make the exact same screen. Okay, you can order this screen from us uh, from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is this toolkit, everything that you need to replace the screen. It comes for free with the screen so you don't need any more tools. You have a compatibility guarantee. If we ship you the screen that's not compatible, we'll ship you the right screen at no extra charge. We have a two-year warranty in all our screens, and we have free and fast delivery. The shipping is free using priority mail, so you get your screen in two to three days. And also we have international shipping. We can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country. To order this screen from us, go to, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out to determine the right screen size and then you can order it online. Okay, once you do get your new screen in, you just reverse the procedure, connect the connector as I showed you, put the screen back in the frame, put the two screws in on top and two screws in on the bottom, and snap the plastic bezel back on, put the two screws in on the bottom and the plastic screw covers and then you're done. Okay, 
uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Penrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.